This is a tutorial on how to use the gb-gas.co.uk's ventilation calculator. This one is for the Android phones and it's available on the Android market. Once you've opened the application, um, you will find the main entry screen. We're looking at all the different variations. We have open fluid appliances, room sealed appliances, flueless appliances, multiple appliances in one room, or going through multiple rooms to get outside. Then we have a vent size checker and some additional information. If we go into the open fluid appliance, you will find that at the top right hand side, you put in the appliance size. So the open fluid appliance that you're dealing with, for argument's sake, could be 32 kilowatts. Then we decide if it's net or gross. If the appliance was installed before 2000, it's likely to be gross. So we click on the gross button. This then gives the calculations. So to vent an open fluid appliance directly to outside, we would need one vent of 110.45 centimetres squared. If it's from a compartment vented direct to outside, we need a top vent which is 145.45 and a bottom vent which is 290.91. And then also, if we're venting via a room from the compartment, the compartment itself needs a top and bottom vent of these sizes, but we also need a vent direct to outside, which would be, in this case, 110.45 centimetres squared. If you make a mistake and it's actually a net appliance, you can click on the net button straight away and it will recalculate it for you. If we press the back button on your phone, this will take you back to the, the main screen where we can have a look at room sealed appliances. When we click on the room sealed appliance button again we have a very similar screen. We input the information up on the top right hand side. Uh, let's make this 12 kilowatts and let's make it net. So we've got a room sealed 12 kilowatt net appliance in a compartment and we vent it direct outside. So we'll have a top vent of 60 centimetres squared and a bottom vent of 60 centimetres squared. If it's in a compartment and we're ventilating it into the room, then the vents need to be twice the size. So we have a top vent of 120 centimetres squared and a bottom vent of 120 centimetres squared. Room sealed appliances do not normally need ventilating if they are in a room. Let's hit the back button again and let's go to flueless appliances. Now the main information that we need for flueless appliances is the room length, the width and the height. We need to find the room volume in metres cubed. So we insert the length, this could be 3 metres, the width, let's make 2 metres, and the height, an average height is 2.4 metres. We then press calculate and this gives us our room volume. In this case, we've got 14.4 metres cubed in volume. So a cooker in this room, as long as it's greater than 10 metres cubed, does not require ventilation. But it does require an openable window. For flueless water heaters in this room, we would need a vent of 50 centimetres squared and an openable window. These screens do move for additional text information. And the one at the bottom is for flueless gas fires. Now, modern flueless gas fires do not um, comply with any calculation method. We really need to look at manufacturer's instructions. For most modern flueless gas fires, there's a minimum room volume and a ventilation that goes with it. This must be adhered to. So let's hit the back button again. And this time we'll have a look at multiple appliances. On multiple appliances, we're really doing a comparison between the three major sections. We have open fluid space heating, we have flueless space heating, and we have the largest of any other appliance. Now, what we're looking at here is the ventilation size that we need. So if I have a open fluid boiler and a gas fire in the room, then we could work them both out together to give us a size. This, for argument's sake, might be 80 centimetres squared. So for the boiler on the fire, we need 80 centimetres squared. I can hit calculate at this point. 
and it would tell me that I would need 80 centimetres squared in my ventilator. Flueless space heating, if I have a flueless gas fire in the same room, then I might be looking at 100 centimetres squared for the flueless gas fire. And this is only space heating that we're looking at, not water heaters and not cookers. Again, hit calculate, and it will tell me that now I need to fit a vent of 100 centimetres squared. It's not 180, we don't add them both together, it's always the largest. If I had a water heater in the room, which is not space heating, and it might be the largest of any other, we might require 120 centimetres squared for this. So we type in 120. Hit the back button to get rid of the keyboard, and then we can hit calculate. So in this scenario, where I have an open fluid boiler and a gas fire, plus a flueless gas fire, plus a water heater, the water heater wins because it needs 120 centimetres squared worth of ventilation. It's always the largest between the three rules. Open fluid space heating, flueless space heating, or the largest of any other appliance. So hitting the back button again, we can now look at multiple rooms. This is generally for open fluid appliances, but can be used for flueless appliances as well. Where I can't get out the room in a straight clear path, and I have to go through maybe a corridor and through another room, or through just directly through another room. What we need to know, if the boiler was fitted in that room, or the appliance was fitted in that room, what size of ventilation I would need. So in this scenario, will suggest that the boiler needs 56 centimetres squared. I can hit calculate at this point, which will also get rid of the keyboard. I've got two questions here. It says, is the appliance in a compartment? Now I'm saying that the boiler's not in a compartment, so I don't tick the box. It then says, is the ventilation path through more than two rooms? If we're going through more than two rooms, tick the box. When we hit calculate again, you will find that this ventilator here has moved to one and a half times the vent that has been fitted to the outside. So the outside vent was 56 centimetres squared. The room vent between the two rooms, or three rooms, or four rooms, will always be 84 centimetres squared. If the appliance was also in a compartment, and we hit calculate, then the compartment ventilation would be as normal. So it's 182 centimetres squared for the top and 364 centimetres squared for the bottom. But any more than two rooms, and we're looking at the intermediate vents being one and a half times the vent size of the outside. Let's hit the back button again. And we'll look at the vent size checker. So if we're calculating the size of a ventilator that's already installed, we need to know the length and the width and the number of holes in that vent. The top section here has space for three different sizes. So we could put a length in. Now, we need to keep the length size in millimetres. So we'll measure in millimetres, it could be 50 millimetres long. And then the minimum width is between 5 and 10 for a gas vent. Let's make it 8 millimetres and let's say there are 20 holes. When we hit calculate, it will then tell me that that ventilator is equivalent to 80 centimetres squared. We can also do the same for circular holes. We put in the diameter of the hole, that's the distance between the left and the right hand side, or the top and the bottom, but the full size across and again, this should be between 5 and 10 millimetres. So let's put in 9 millimetres. And let's say that the number of holes, there are 40 holes at 9 millimetres in diameter. Pressing the back button gets rid of the keyboard. And then we can hit calculate. And that ventilator would be equivalent to 25.4 centimetres squared. 